Hey, Cancer. This will happen in the next 48 hours for November the 1st through November the 2nd, 2023. Okay. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Cancer for November the 1st through November the 2nd, 2023. Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Cancer for November the 1st through November the 2nd, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see. For the star sign of Cancer for November the 1st through November the 2nd, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Cancer... Cancer, these are your cards, honey. So, Cancer, you have the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini, but the lover says, you know, I breathe you in, you breathe me in. We are so magnetically attracted to one another. We cannot get enough of one another. Babe, I need to make a choice. So, Cancer, could be dealing with a Gemini. But you can tell me that you guys have this strong twin flame magnetic pull. Yes. You can tell me there's another other lover. But the lovers could also be a partnership with work or business. Clarify the lovers for cancer. Clarify the lovers for cancer. Clarify the lovers for cancer. It is clarified with the eight of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So, Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes, they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So, Cancer, you could be walking away or returning. Now, listen, you can tell me that you're walking away from your twin flame. You can tell me that, hey, I'm realizing this is my twin flame. I'm returning or they're wanting to return. You can tell me that you're walking away because they had another other lover. You could be leaving to go towards another other lover. You can tell me that you're walking away from some type of partnership here with work or business. Cancer, you have the Ten of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that someone has commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the Ten of Cups. For cancer, clarify the ten of cups. For cancer, clarify the ten of cups. For cancer, it is clarified with the eight of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So, Cancer, listen, you can tell me that this is all work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. So, listen, you can tell me that you're planning to maybe go into some type of commitment here or you're wanting to work on some type of commitment. Now, someone's returning. Either they're returning to you wanting to work things out or you them wanting to work things out. But someone could have originally left for another other lover being in the picture. 
Cancer, you have the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Cancer, listen, you can tell me that something is going on financially, maybe some type of financial lack, or this is a breakup. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Cancer. Clarify the Five of Pentacles for Cancer. It is clarified with the Seven of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Cancer, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explored some of those other options. Now, listen, you can tell me that you guys broke up because of some type of confusion, lies or illusions or the fact that someone had other options. You can tell me that, yes, you guys broke up, but maybe you're needing to make a decision on whether or not you're going to accept them back or whether or not it's you wanting to return to work things out with them. So you could be all up in your head thinking about this. Cancer, you have the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So, Cancer, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Clarify the two of wands for Cancer. Clarify the two of wands for Cancer. Clarify the two of wands for Cancer. It is clarified with the Ten of Cups again. So like I said, someone very well may have commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are endings. So it could be an ending to you guys' as commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Hmm. So Cancer, so you're needing to decide here whether or not you want to end things or whether or not you want to... Uh, Come back and restore you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. So at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path concerning it. Cancer, you have the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth. Demanding clarity. Speaking your truth. Spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So listen, Cancer, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight, someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Cancer. Clarify the Knight of Swords. For cancer. It is clarified with the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling stuck. Like you're in a self-imposed prison of your thoughts. This is you feeling like you can't move, but you can move because it's all mental. This is you refusing to see some things, refusing to acknowledge some things, a lack of information, block communication. This is you feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked. So cancer, listen. You can tell me that you're feeling stuck in a situation or you're blocking communication. Now, you can tell me that you're feeling stuck, that you're wanting to confront them or set the record straight or get to the bottom of something. Yes. Or you're telling me that you guys had some type of confrontation and you block communication. And this could be the cause of the walking away. But I feel like someone is wanting to return here. I feel like it's you needing to make some type of decision on whether or not you're going to work things out with this person or not. I'm going to take a look at the situationship for you and your partner. Well, for you, Cancer. Okay. I don't know what the energy is for this day, child. This day. Mm. Okay. And it says, love, adore, admire, enchantment. Mm. Love, adore, admire, enchantment. Mm. There's love here, but you have to make a tough decision. What else 
a cancer. What else for cancer? Mm. Pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. Goodness, pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. Someone's mad over here. I got to confront something over here. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Cancer, this will happen in the next 48 hours for November the 1st through November the 2nd, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.